Okay, apologies for the delay there. Um, I was ready, but for some reason, after I'd started streaming, there was a fair amount of delay between me uh, starting the stream in Streamlabs and it having a show up in my YouTube um, panel. Uh, but I think um, from what I've done in my tests um, before now, uh, the stream should be a lot smoother. Um, so a couple of mistakes I was making, I was using hardware encoding and I've got a pretty low-end GPU so um, that using that alongside a game which is making almost full use of the graphics card wasn't helping things. I was also trying to stream at 1080p so I've dropped the quality down to 720p um, so there's a bit of sacrifice in the stream quality but it won't look like a slideshow so hopefully my audio levels and everything are okay and um, let me know if my voice is too loud or too quiet or if the game sounds too loud or too quiet so I'm going to show just a few some of the new features in the um, in the game so the first one is that the, the game starts out clear and then depending on how close you are to a supercell um, the clouds will then start to fade in or fade out depending on your proximity um, I've also got a speedometer here and if you notice in the top right corner I've also got a compass which is going to be really helpful so that I don't have to spend 20 minutes driving around cluelessly around the map I can just pick a direction so um, the direction on the map you've got north, south, east, west so you can figure out your way and then you're in the centre of the circle so it looks like we've got something going off to our north here so we want to head west and then north. oh we can see the tornado straight away there was a bug in that I've introduced right before the stream for some reason when I enable VHS mode the tornado disappears again I did do some I did do some fiddling with the camera rendering um, which is likely been what um, caused that issue um, what I've changed is somebody mentioned about having rain wrapped tornadoes and I said it was going to be a lot of work um, but I did a little bit of experimenting and there's actually a, uh, a small set that I could change and what happens is it'll start to rain um, and as the cell gets more intense it'll start to hail and then as it gets even more intense you'll start to get mist kicking up and what would happen is the tornado would render on top of the mist which didn't look quite right uh, and I thought it was going to be really complicated to get it to render behind the mist but it turns out it was just a couple of options in the menu I needed to change and it appears to be working so I'll be testing that but somewhere in the process of doing that I managed to make VHS mode break so I didn't have time to fix that before the stream but I'm going to show the gameplay mechanics again and show how it's a bit easier now that compass in the top right corner even though it's a small little thing uh, makes it a lot easier to um, to work with so let's figure out which way direction this tornado's heading and we'll figure out an intercept path So it's heading north. We're gonna have to move quickly. So I reckon um, we head east and then take our first left and then follow the road around there. We may then have to off-road a little bit. Looks like it's gone to at least F2 strength. So let's take an F2, a decent paying F2 mission. Um, oh, actually, 200 sa F1 samples in five minutes. Probably not going to be able to get much done. Let's take mission two. Okay, let's flip a Yui here. And there's destruction in the game now. Um, I have, I've started to work on the logic for how the game will calculate things like lives saved, um, what are the other things, um, fatalities, injuries, etc. Um, but that's not implemented yet. Um, that'll likely be later in the week. Um, you'll notice there's power lines at the side of the road now. And when the tornado interacts with those and rips them out the ground, there should hopefully be a power flash, about 5% chance of a power flash, so we may see those. I did a very brief test with them a couple of days ago, but I've been focused on other aspects of the game. Mainly the cloud CT, because we're quite far away from the cell, that we've got quite bright skies here. Then as we get closer you'll see the clouds get thicker and the rain will get more intense as well. And hopefully you'll notice the stream is a lot smoother uh, compared to the last few streams. I apologise for that. Didn't realise quite how bad it was. So have a look at the radar screen. This is going to 
a tick I was going to essentially be doing a core punch here the radar might be what um, at the far enough radius that we can start to see if geckos develop top speed of 75 miles an hour and we'll try and upgrade that to I'm not sure what the next step is if it's 80 or 85 miles an hour but the speed of the vehicle makes a massive difference in how easy it is to um, how difficult it is to intercept successfully Jason's stream looks great thank you I'm glad it's uh, looking better now um, I just um, Rewatched one of the old streams like just a few seconds up to get an idea of the quality and I was like this is horrendous it's like I really appreciate the people who stuck through the stream um, for more than a couple of minutes like, um, the buffering and the choppiness was horrendous so I'm glad I've got that fixed and it's showing up um, it's showing up properly now I think this tornado is going to go off the map before we even get near it there it is still need to figure out how to blend the top of it with the background. I'm debating whether it's worth trying to intercept that because if we, if we get in front of it we're going to end up right at the edge of the map over here which that means the next tornado spawn will also spawn near the edge of the map. So it might be better waiting somewhere central like this. Oh it's starting to turn right though. So do we go for it? Do we try and maybe get an intercept here? You know, follow this road around and then kind of off-road in a straight line. Let's try it. Um, I'm going to do this stream uh, till about 10, maybe shortly after 10. Uh, but I don't have a whole lot of time to stream, but I've, just, I've added enough new features that I thought it was worth um, doing one, even if it's only brief. any logic yet to detect collisions and then kill the player depending on the strength of the collision. I think I'll leave that for a later version. I think, oh, sorry, let's try and get the mouse focused in that window. I think the, um, there's already enough ways to fail without introducing a death mechanic to the game. Upgraded the weight of the truck, so hopefully it's not as unstable um, when off-roading. I think upgraded to one and a half or two tons. I can't really remember. What was the mission again? It was a 200 F2 strength sample, so I think we've got a good chance of doing that. Right, I'm on a road now. Let's see if we've got any hope of getting in front of this. Depends how much of a right turner it is. We're not going to get in front of it, so I reckon I head east until I get to that junction, and then we've got um, north, south, east, and west options from there. I think it's developing somewhat of a hook. Um, I think this area here um, is sort of a weak inflow notch. So let's head east, and this is much easier now because I can just drive in this direction and go, oh look, heading east. 
I don't want to have to drive, then wait another seven seconds, and then figure out where my position updates on the map compared to where it was before, and then infer from that which direction I'm facing. That just it's too much work. I spent a lot of time driving in circles, which wasn't particularly entertaining for people. So I reckon we'll watch the tornado from here. Oh, there's a little hill here. We'll watch it from here, and it'll rope out quite soon. And then we'll go off to the next one. So let's track it on radar. As soon as it goes off the edge of the map, it'll just disappear, and then a new one will spawn somewhere within that circle, spawn within the range of the radar beam. So watch, I can't remember if I made, if it goes outside the bounds of the map, I think it just instantly disappears rather than goes through a rope out animation, but I can't actually remember what I did. But I know there's still some work to do to blend it in with the clouds in the background. Okay, that's disappeared. So you'll notice the clouds and things will start to clear up now, and a new cell will start to form, so we'll try and position ourselves in front of it. Okay, two, there's one off to our, um, what's that, southwest. It's heading towards us, so I reckon we just stay here, and we'll face southwest and see what comes towards us. Unintentionally, um, the way I've written some of the game logic. Uh, so I made the precipitation intensity and things um, scale with the strength of the tornado and your position relative to the cell. Uh, but a nice side effect is when you have stronger tornadoes, you actually get deeper, like almost blacker skies. Uh, so if you get a lot of thunder and lightning, heavy precipitation and dark skies, then you actually know you've got a stronger tornado than just the average F1, F2. actually spawned quite far away from us. Looks like we're going to have to core punch. So I reckon I have to head west and then off road till we get to that winding road. Okay, let's do a core punch because I want to see how well the uh, mist effects work. So I think this will be the first time I'll be intentionally core punching on this stream. So everybody who's watching, uh, hope it is, it is quite an entertaining uh, maneuver here. So we're going to go down here turn right and head through the hail core. And it looks like it's an F5 strength. That's, oh well, yeah, it's F5. So we don't want to miss out on an F5. And it's near the center of the map. Uh, there might have been some buildings destroyed actually, which unfortunately we would have missed. Wait, am I at east? Where am I? I want to head west. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, now we're heading the right direction. Yeah, we'll go left and then right and then we'll be on an intercept course, hopefully. So I managed to get myself a bit turned around before. Left and then right, and the tornado will be somewhere in front of us. Oops, sorry, I was trying to enable VHS mode. I'm not sure what that looks like. Because I'm using two screens, if I click outside of the game window, it 
game loses focus. Okay, let's see how intense is this precipitation coal we're gonna punch through. Take some deep reds. I don't know if there's any purples. It's just out of range. But it's gonna take too long to take a proper route. So what I'm gonna do is just once we get to the edge of the road, end of the road, just keep going straight forward until I meet the next bit of road. We keep going straight forward, and hopefully we can intercept it before it um, crosses the road there. Here we go. Each time we're doing 75 miles an hour instead of 50. I think what I'll do is I'll start the game off at 55 miles an hour just to give that touch extra speed. I've got terrain clipping through the roads and um, one of the last jobs I'm going to do before I'm um, doing some pre-alpha testing is just fixing the roads it's just there's a lot of road um, to go through and test and like I've got to check like every intersection in every stretch of road and see if it's clipping through the terrain or if the, um, if the junction's broken uh, the tornado's starting to come into view there not looking particularly great looks like it's a bit of higher uh, elevation. It will look better as we get closer up though. <coughs> you can see from the rotation rate that it's um, a tornado with higher wind speeds. The, um, how fast it spins is directly proportional to um, this raising. Now that we've got a visual on it, we don't need to worry so much about just sticking in a straight direction. We want to aim to the right of it because it looks like it's heading northwest. Do a barrel roll. So one thing I have to do as well is just extend the road network because there's some dead ends which I think could do with just being connected up and just a convenience for getting around the map. So this is based on um, relocation around um, what's it called? Pilot Mound, that's it, Pilot Mound, Iowa. Oh, it looks like it's roping out. Not having the best of luck at the beginning of this stream. Probably should have upgraded the radar range because it means they can spawn further away. Okay, let's head to a road then. I reckon if I head southwest, I should get to the road network. and then we can just choose another one, get some nice upgrades, which I think mostly I want to focus on upgrading the truck's max speed. See things are clearing up now. stay ahead of it. I think just from play testing this I think I need to make the tornado formation take longer and I also need to make them stay on the ground longer before roping out. I need to tweak those parameters. Looks like it's heading towards us. Um, so let's head south. say anywhere in the cell but it's within a certain distance of the core. Look how far south it's formed. So let's head south. It looks like it's an F2. So we're going to head south and then take that left. Right, left. Okay. Oh, it's great. 
gradually getting darker as we get sorry, as we get towards the tornado. Again, it might be worth waiting for another one, hoping that it spawns in a more um, accessible area of the map. Take this right here. I also fixed the mission timeout bug, so um, say what was happening is you start a mission and say you have 10 minutes and then say it's in 10 minutes time let's play the sound notifying the player that the mission's timed out then if you failed the mission because you ended wind speeds which were too high um, the mission would get cancelled but that event would still be scheduled so I just had to make sure to cancel that uh, so you didn't get a random notification uh, cancelling your current mission after you'd failed the previous one because that was quite annoying change that so there's at least two so because we end up in situations like this where I'm now having to drive to the complete opposite side of the map to try and chase a tornado which will probably rope out before I even get there so really what I want is to have at least two tornadoes but all the logic of the game assumes just a single tornado so far so I think tomorrow um, maybe tonight but I've been getting in the habit of getting up at 6 30 each morning and working on the game for an hour before uh, my daughters wake up um, so tomorrow morning I think the goal will be getting maybe two tornadoes or maybe make it, probably the best thing is to make it parameterized so you can have any number of tornadoes at once it's just I'm worried about the CPU load that'll, that'll put on people's um, systems if they happen to um, simulate say seven F5 tornadoes across the map if anybody recognises this scene, um, this is Twister Hill. So you can almost recreate it. Um, you can have one of these power lines um, fall down, hit your truck. Um, if you're in the right place at the right time, and the tornado just happens to recreate the path that it took in the movie. And it was only an F2. So let's see what the next tornado brings. And then, um, okay, so we've got, we're near our south option, we've got our north option behind us, and this main road runs east to west. If we track it on the um, radar, yeah, let's have a look. So it's here before, it hasn't updated in a while. See, so that's heading south, it's going to go either off the edge of the map or rope out before it even starts. So if we stay here, so we want it to go somewhere where we've got decent access to the road network and the way it works is it'll be within this ring uh, so I'm thinking maybe if I head here it'll stop it spawning down here where there's not really any road network so I'm gonna go head 
maybe just along here somewhere. So let's turn around. We take our north option and then try and find a good spot where there's good roads within that uh, within the radar range, which means the tornado should hopefully spawn somewhere in there. the days last longer and the nights shorter just because nighttime chasing was a bit difficult whoops I'll stop the player interacting with the truck the player shouldn't be able to push the truck around like that let's keep an eye on radar see if we can expect another tornado soon but I reckon with oh it looks like it's roughing out so next tornado let's keep an eye on the sky because when those clouds start coming back, start getting heavier, then we know that the next tornado's um, close to us. And that it's imminent. We're starting to get some rain, that's a good sign. thing is to keep an eye on the radar. Looks like the next tornado might be on that south heading road over here. Can't see my mouse cursor. Okay, which way is it heading? It's in the centre of the map. Let's wait for another radar scan. Try to figure out which way it's heading. See that if you can see that dot, uh, for some reason my mouse isn't showing up anymore. Okay, we need to head south, and then I think we're going to be in a perfect intercept. Uh, I'm not sure what strength it is, let's just look for a decent one. Um, F2 strength, 20 minutes, should be able to do that. I'll probably have to and end the stream either once we complete the mission or after the 20 minutes is so up, whichever's first. Um, yeah, we'd head west in the road. To so our tornado's off to our right hand side. And we're getting 7 mile an hour winds this far from it, so I think it might be a strong one. We'd head east, not west. Oh, there it is. Doesn't look quite right. Um, it does have a really light clouds. Yeah, there's a quite like a stovepipe tornado that close to us. Um, I'll need to maybe check how quickly the scene updates and how quickly the clouds uh, change strength. Since if we're this close, the clouds should be quite heavy. Oh, and that's really tearing across the map as well. First step is to get in front of it and then deploy a probe. I don't know why the um, clouds aren't updated, they should be. I'm 
might see some power flashes here. Skies should be darker, which isn't helping with that aliasing. Uh, some more power flashes. Okay, we can't let the wind speed go over 100 miles an hour. 140 miles an hour, sorry, so let's get out of the way. Wow, it looks like some F3 strength. <laughs> See those power flashes behind us? And 
but it's gone out the map. So let's try for the next one, we've got three and a half minutes. Oh yeah, just realised I need to fix that so the power poles will get ripped out the ground, but I forgot about the power line itself, so I need to um, make that just get deleted whenever the, um, or destroyed when the um, tornado comes, just removed from the scene. Get to move away from the edge of the map because we don't want the next tornado spawning um, on the edge of the map.
trying to figure out where we need to be to get in front of it. Okay, we need to head west, I think. Southwest. So if we need to be heading in that direction then. It's moving slow enough though, we might be able to intercept. What strength is it? It's like F1, maybe F2, so we'll try and take one of those missions once we're in a good position to intercept it. I've got the compass, I can keep my uh, bearings even though I've um, spun the car there. make any sort of progress on that to make a lot of money.
working on the tornado funnel at least.
get near the tornado in any reasonable amount of time. So, unfortunately, this hasn't been the most eventful stream. I think it's another sign you need to tweak things to make it a bit more action packed. So, I think what I want to do before the next stream is have a second tornado, so it's always two, and then make it spawn within half of the range of the radar that way. Um, just it spawns a bit closer. turning into a nighttime severe weather driving simulator rather than like a tornado chasing game. I want it to actually be fun. <laughs> and I need to fix the bug with uh, the clouds. I don't know why the clouds have just disappeared and refused to come back. Quite close. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to end the stream now. So thank everybody who's tuned in and watched. Um, any suggestions, feel free to join the Discord server. I was like hearing them um, suggestions for the game, yeah, but I'm gonna have to head off because it's getting quite late. Alright, thank you for watching.